Hello, my name is Lorna Scobie and I'm author and illustrator of Rabbit, Rabbit, Rabbit. So I'm going to read this for you today. This is the US edition. Um, and then I'm going to show you some sketches and artwork from the book and tell you a bit about how I made it. So this is Rabbit, Rabbit, Rabbit. And before we start, I just want to show you the hardback book inside, which is so beautifully designed. So thank you to my amazing designer and editor for that. Adorable little rabbit on there. This book is actually based um, on my own experience of growing up with lots and lots of brothers and sisters. So I started off as an only child, like the rabbit in this book. Um, and it's a bit about how I found the experience of having more and more sisters and brothers arrive. That might be something you can relate to as well. Rabbit, rabbit, rabbit. I am the only child in my family and that is the way I like it. The fox next door says she likes having rabbits around. The more the merrier, she says, but I can't see why. I like having everything to myself. My flower, my carrots, my stretching area, my bedroom. But my parents have some news. Suddenly, I am no longer an only child. I no longer have everything to myself. Destroying my flower, eating my carrots, napping in my stretching area. In my bedroom, I have to establish some rules. Your side, my side. This works well, until my parents have more news and more and more. Something has to be done. Then I remember the fox. Would you look after these rabbits? Gladly. Yes. It's just me. Just me and all this space. Just me. I go next door. Would you like to come in too? The more the merrier. Okay then, I guess. What do you think is going to happen? And much to my surprise, It's fantastic! And there they are, all having a massive party inside the fox's house. <laughs> That's the end. So that's Rabbit, Rabbit, Rabbit. And that one, I started off doing lots and lots and lots of sketches of rabbits. So these are the first sketches I was making where well, I was just drawing, practicing drawing loads and loads of rabbits. This one, um, I was 
thinking how would a rabbit stretch out and I was trying lots of different postures and I was thinking about how I would draw the fox. And then again, you can see I've put asterisks by the little drawings that I liked and practice drawing eyes and just keep practicing, practicing and practicing. So here are some more sketches. And you can see I've added some notes. Some of them are from the editor. Some of them are things that I thought I should change as well. And then the next stage after that was to draw the sketches at full size. So I actually had to use two pieces of paper because it was so big, this page. The one with all the rabbits was here. That one was really, really fun to draw, especially thinking of all the different designs that um, rabbits could be, all the different colours. Here's some more sketches. You can see I've just really simply sellotape the pages together to make a bigger page. So if ever you feel like you haven't got a big enough piece of paper, just tape the piece together. Some more sketches. And then the next stage was to do the painting. So I painted all of the artwork in watercolour and then used colouring pencils as well. So for the main character, I wanted to really think about what what he or she looked like from every different angle. So I drew her in loads of different poses to try and think what she'd look like from all the way around. So that's quite a good idea if you have a character and you want to think about how, how they're going to look in each different picture. Think about what they might look like sitting down or standing or jumping or moving. And also close up as well. So you might want to think about what the face looks like close up. And then, so lots of the, for lots of the illustrations, because I've got the same rabbits in every spread, it was just um, drawing that same rabbit in lots of different poses. And carrots as well, there's lots of carrots. And this one was one of my favourite to draw, which was the hug, where the rabbit looks a bit not impressed with being hugged. So I don't know if any of you guys feel like that. And the party spread was really fun as well. That was some the, the um, painting of the party spread. Here's some more paintings. And then sometimes you can see I've added little notes to the painting and that's where I've decided that something needs to change. So I've just written replace with end rabbit which means that I probably would have realised that the rabbit, that all the rabbits that are appearing here need to also appear in the next um, image. So I probably was checking that they were all matched up. And this spread was really fun to draw, which was the big crowd of rabbits. So again, you can see I've had to use two pieces of paper and I had to make sure that I didn't draw the same rabbit twice as well. So that was a challenge. I think I ended up numbering all the rabbits and made sure that I had each number ticked off. I quite like drawing um, these two blowing raspberries at each other and these two having a hug. I think some of the um, rabbits I accidentally drew to look like members of my family member, uh, members of my family like this one. <laughs> Here's the rabbits inside the hole. So I draw all the um, characters usually separate from the background. So that's why sometimes there's just big piles of carrots because then I'll go onto the computer and add the um, animals around that. The fox. So I did a, a cross hatch on the shadow to make it look like he was in shadow there, which is just using a pencil. And then yeah, here's some here's some of those backgrounds which have no rabbits in yet. But I found these were quite relaxing to draw. So that's it, that's rabbit, rabbit, rabbit. 
hope you've enjoyed hearing about it and um, hope it hops its way to you soon.